So I've uh, recorded some other video of making the first part of that gate and the microphone wasn't recording. So uh, let's just do it this way. Let's go to the vehicles folder where our gate is. If you downloaded the gate that's already, I already paste, p posted, uh, you'll have one pole made. You can load the new J-Beam in the node editor. And uh, I'll just make the part that swivels. Uh, now, that did not work. I didn't think it would. I don't know. I was trying to take a shortcut. It ended up not working. Give me a minute. Get that out of here. Alright, so... In Blender, we're going to import in the DAE. Actually, I included the Blender file also, so you can just load the Blender file. That's uh... yeah, it's trying to take a, a shortcut. Uh, making a J beam for that uh, <laughs> that didn't uh, quite work now easiest way to do something like this you can just make a mesh cube now the first pole that I uploaded it will bend and whatnot this will just this will just sway open because I don't know that the person that wanted this I don't know how realistic they wanted it you know, realistically, if you hit one of these things with a car, it probably would bend in places if you hit it going fast enough. But if all you really want is just something that'll open, then you can make a, say, a mesh cube like this, something that kind of is around about the size of that gate. And once you get your cube made and you got it above the ground and it's kind of like encased in this thing a bit then it got to be exactly perfect just apply all your transforms and what you're going to do is give this a prefix since this particular piece of the gate I believe is I named it bake one because I had to bake the textures but uh, this particular one will go to that one and so I'll just make this uh, now the node prefix let's see what was that doesn't really matter um i just want to make sure I get the damn right one with the right one because i got my damn self confused doing this so bake one is the gate that actually opens that's just the model of what opens uh, the j beams what actually makes it open so i'm just going to put a number one there that way it's a little reminder now if you got the J-Beam exporter installed, then you can just export J-Beam. Well, when you got the damn thing selected, you can anyway. Now, we can load the existing mod. I can rename this to, to uh, New Gate. That way it's a little less confusing. So, New Gate. We're going to load that in the Node Editor. Well, it's already loaded into here. In case you missed it the first time. Load the note editor and move it in there. Damn, I didn't save. I gotta delete that again. Damn it. Uh, 
it's really not complicated. I'd probably make it a hell of a lot more complicated than what it is. Uh, let's refresh. Alright. Now we're going to load the other thing that we just exported. That. That goes here. Inside here. Now, this is going to be controlling the flex body of bake one so I may group one the same name for bake one bake one being the flex body the mesh basically uh, so if you go down to bake one here that's where that grouping will be so the nodes from this will go to the nodes to that and those were right here uh, and I forgot to give it a node prefix that's all right I'll just leave it in I try to try to remember to name those now we need the beams and then the triangles and uh, the beams I'll use the same as the other beams what the other ones were set to so I'll just stick them in there I'll put a note in here and then the triangles need to go into here at the bottom uh, sometimes it doesn't Make sure they're blue when you copy to your clipboard or it won't actually copy it. Paste. So we'll turn on the node names and we'll look at the bottom here and the part that is, that's the other side. So it's the node NL0. We can only make one of these pivot. Uh, I should have probably put a node there, but it'll be alright. It won't be exactly on target but node NL0 and NL1 these are going to be anchored that means they will not move but they'll swivel now nothing will swivel if you're off axis and you like anchor that and you anchor that one and you try to rotate it it's not going to rotate you need to have it like an axle like something like this then that will rotate so up here where the nodes are I just pasted for that group NL0 NL1 those are going to be anchored so one thing you can do is you can in this particular case I'll just copy this and after NL1 paste it because that is false after that but these two will be true it means they'll be anchored in place we can save it now we should be able to load the mod in here with the updated gate. Now I'll just probably do a collision mesh for the other side. That one pole at the end, it'll uh, deform pretty good. It just takes more time because you got to make a J-beam that when it bends, it makes the them uh, the poles bend and not look deformed you know what let's let's get a map like this let's just go out into the country where you might actually see a gate like this having loaded Italy <coughs> so it's not cached Taking a bit longer to load than usual.
perfect. Mucho perfecto. This is exactly what I wanted right here. <laughs> may be saying well what's the point of having a gate right there if you well if the if you can just go around well you see we can make it so that it is like this good enough. I think you get the idea. Turn on the collision triangles. Not for the truck. For the bridge. There, I mean the gate. You can see what's going on here. Now, maybe you want your gate to not just easily swing open like this. Uh, it may be your gate is gonna conflict with the ground. And if that's also case let's get that truck over here it's too loud we can tell the thing to not have collisions with the ground by just saying collision well we want the rest of the stuff on the the other parts of the stuff to have true but this will put faults Not fa yeah, faults. And I sometimes spell that wrong. If you spell it wrong, it'll let you know. Because it won't load. Now, it doesn't... The box isn't going to collide with the ground at all. Or anything else. Because collisions are turned off but it'll collide with the truck just fine. Now, if you uh, want to make that more secure, what you can do in the note editor is, uh, well, you can just make a beam. Go down to the beam section. I'll put a new note in here. Actually, I'll make a new break group. So I'll copy this. That's not actually a leg. Don't worry about what that says. It's actually holds pole. It's just a little more anchors it doesn't 
actually hold it up it just keeps it a little more secure so we'll copy this and paste it here and then we're going to borrow these values from this one and we'll copy and paste that there that way when that beam strength is met it'll break this beam so we put the cursor here we go to beams we add single We'll connect this to that, and that one to that one, and then save it, and reload with Control R, and if I turn on the damage that shows damaged beams, well you can see they're green now because they're not broke yet, but when enough force hits it, break now these down here these ones these green ones that are holding this pole that you'll see also break those are the ones that I was just talking about in here that just kind of hold help hold that pole upright that's all these if you want that to be stronger you can increase that uh, but I just used them kind of like little anchors to help hold it up Now, I didn't think about this, but maybe somebody wants an actual chain there holding that. Well, that'd take more time to do that. But it's, I could do it. It just takes longer to do it. Let's turn all that stuff off. So let's do, let's do, let's do 20,000. Control R to reload the mesh, I mean, sorry, to reload the mod. Just remember you also can control R the vehicle or the gate. So. You should see it kind of flash when it resets. Let's go a little bit weaker. I don't think anybody wants to damage their car when they run into that. So we'll do 10,000. That'll probably work right there.
Now it's not going to hit the gate because ground collisions are off. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't even realize that was uh, kind of off axis. That'll be alright. It works. It may not be. Now this won't deform correctly because the time and effort making a J-beam is not as extensive as it was for this little pole. I mean it will kind of ding, ding up a little bit, but it's, it's not going to deform really like you would expect because it's, I didn't make it that way to do that. But anyway, I think that's pretty much it for this. I'll uh, link it in the description. I'll see if I don't think my. Sure see, did it save my textures? I. And it didn't save my damn maps. I already. Oh, that's because I didn't do that one yet. Alright, I gotta get these sorted out. You can tint it. You can make it to different colors. Like this. Depending on what color you want it to. Because it's kind of like metal painted. And you can pick any color. It's up to you. I didn't put any normal maps. Well, I, I baked them, but there wasn't any. There wasn't any real any, any information that really would have made a difference. Not on that particular material. And see, I thought I saved that damn thing earlier. I've had a couple times where the damn thing doesn't save when I tell it to save. I'm not sure why it's doing it. All right, save all dirty materials. Now, before I exit out of here, I'm gonna make sure it damn did save them. Uh, 
gate, 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 gate. New gate, okay. So that's what I thought it did. It made the damn material like twice. I did that before. I don't know why it does that. And of course, it's loading the wrong ones in there. I didn't end up using that one. But it's alright. But yeah, that is what I just pretty much set. So I know those are the right ones. Now I'll check the mod, make sure it's going to work. Uh, if we're not going to use the other ones, we probably can just, well, I'll leave them in here. Maybe somebody wants to use them. This file is large because I didn't convert these to DDS. I mean, by all means, if you want to convert them all to DDS, you can. I'm just not worrying about that. Uh, see um oh yeah vehicles gate Oh, I did forget something. Alright, I'll get it zipped up. I'm just got I, I didn't put a thumbnail in there. Um, and I'll get the thumbnail from this video I'm making now. But you basically got to put a, a, a an image that's like crop 2 to 1. A 1200 by 600 um, any image and just call it default.jpg. Um, yeah, I can't play the one that I'm making now, so I'll have to get a screenshot from it. 